Begin with new details in the investigation into a community residential care facility in Casey. Now Friday morning, 69 year old Timothy Catalano was found dead inside Twilight Manor assisted living. While on scene, Casey police raised safety concerns over the facility's conditions and removed the remaining 14 residents while they investigate. Well, police tell News 19 the residents had not eaten or received their medication since the night before and no medical staff was on site. But DHEC, which regulates the facility, said they spoke to residents and staff and didn't observe any conditions that pose an immediate threat. Able SC, which is now helping the disabled, the dis displaced residents, excuse me, also adding tonight that these facilities aren't required to have 24 7 medical personnel. It's not a medical care facility. It's a, um, it's a home that assists people with being independent. And so there is no nursing care. And, and just because somebody is blind or has a psychiatric disability does not mean they need nursing care. Well, DSS tells News 19 some residents are stuck at hospitals while waiting for a new home or the OK to return to Twilight Manor. KCPD says many others are in good care with family or at other facilities and they back their decision to remove those residents, saying, quote, as law enforcement officers, we are legally empowered to take custody of a person who is in imminent danger for their own protection. We feel strongly that it is our duty to keep all citizens in our city safe. Well, we also reached out to Twilight Manor, but they declined to comment.